All right. So we finished diving through the first chapter of pools. Definitely some scary moments. Um, the ladder being uh, brought up. The person that was in the water down into gosh knows what. And I think the growling sounds coming from one area of the pool. So we know that there's entities or something at least in this back room. And we've somehow survived chapter one with the exception of one death jumping down that uh, that first one and get rewinding back up into the onto the uh, jumping board but now we're gonna dive into chapter two if I remember correctly it dumped us in the middle of a darkish kind of an area so we're gonna dive in I have to hit play I keep forgetting that All right. Yep, this is where it dropped us. We went down something. We landed from, gosh knows where that came from. So, okay, there's a room door. No other doors. I don't like dark rooms, especially in the pools. I hate how it's forcing me to go in the water. <laughs> At least it's not deep water. I'll give it that much. Alright, so there's a pool slide. Splish blosh my way up the stairs. Yeah, see the the creator has captured the ambience really really well um this is like stuff out of a fever dream like stuff i had like dreams and nightmares i had when i well i wouldn't say necessarily nightmares but they were just dreams really weird dreams i had as a kid oh wow what is this yeah we're not going in there i don't want to get stuck Gosh knows, probably will get stuck. I'm error on the side of safety just because I don't know what to expect. I mean, we've had our questionable moments. Oh, I hate these types of pools. The ambience just definitely, definitely plays on. this uh, at least less I can be in the water the happier I am oh graphics are amazing okay so there's a ladder that leads to absolutely nowhere Oof. it's a good thing that uh, like the most vicious pool I could think of would be one where it's like they, they drop you down into that little pool with no escape and you can't reach the ladder to get back out. Ugh. Okay, this is kind of cool. What's up, bro? But yeah, they captured the ambience and the terrorizing feel pretty well here. Okay, so we see a door down yonder. So it's like you need to go to the triangles, the circles, or whatever that stuff is. Man. Uh, I'm curious. I want to pin. That's good. I see the water up to the stairs already. <laughs> Alright. <sighs> decisions, decisions. Let's go left. Let's see what the caution triangles are telling us. 
Ooh, a stairwell. Oof. Well, at least you can... Oh, no, you could... You kind of could get out, I guess. Because you'd have to jump from the stairs to get to the railings. Otherwise, you just keep repeating yourself. Or, see how those are fixated? You could climb up on the pole, get on the plastic tube, and scoot your way across to get back over here. Okay. Not illuminated, moving over here. We're in a circle. That pool again, not going there. Let's run. again. Can I please just avoid? Can I just avoid the water like entirely? That's a multicolor slide. Not gonna bother. I can push him forward. Flashing, leaving a puddle of whatever. Okay, so you crawl through there, come over here. Ooh. It's crazy how bright this area is. That worries me right there, that little that little tunnel. Hell no. I guess it's not a tunnel after all. I see the uh, the plug, but still it's like do they have something like a creature that crawls like that? Why is this not why is this not? Back in the nightmare fuel again. Into the light and out of the darkness. things where you have like a nightmare where it's like you go down the slanty slope and there's nothing you can do to stop yourself from flowing over into that no matter how hard you try. Ugh, no thank you. Yeah, not really fond of pools. Oh wow, we're into a bigger area now. What the hell is that? A legit, like, swing in the middle of God knows what's over there. Oh, creepy. There's no door over there. Like, 
what is beyond that veil right there? <laughs> ah, it's a big gigantic monster. It's Cthulhu. And, oh my god, I don't have a choice. <laughs> that I'm feeling right now. Oh, God. It's actually kind of cool. Please tell me that's not an actual entity. <laughs> that would suck. You've discovered a new entity. <sighs> oh god. Can I crouch anything? So apparently, that was an actual water, it was just a glass ceiling. Yeah, like if you've ever been to those places like, uh, where it's like you can walk on this big thick glass. Uh, head to the light, nay, head to the light. Oh, damn, where am I? Apparently I'm going somewhere to the point of no return. You can come out over there. Wee stairways. Oh my god, I walked right into it. Ah, why? Water's getting deeper. Have you ever wondered, like, how much chlorine you needed to keep you back from clean? Like, ouch. That's sitting there. Like, I can legit, like... I can legit have a seat. Okay. Break time's over. It's kind of interesting. It's like... I think I'm more disturbed by the fact that those, those plastic chairs aren't floating at all. And as you walk closer, the chairs are faced away. You know what? We're going to go to the one chair facing away. Let's go. Just face the wall. Enjoy the aesthetics of this corner. Okay. 
this is more like a statue kind of a level, like a, um, gosh. Because this is like the second statue that's, that's here. Can I sit and admire it? Oh, I can. All of a sudden it comes to life and <laughs> I get my butt kicked. He's going to choke me out, bro. Oh, damn. No. I'm not here to sit down. I'm here to... This is part of the backroom's traps. There we go. <laughs> I was like, I'm forever trying to sit. come this way you, you kind of lose track after a while like I'm curious if this leads up to the water slide mm, I think it's kind of obvious I'm not going to be doing the water slide Enter. oh wait maybe I can The abyss, nay. Oh, it is the abyss. Can't see or hear anything. It's flying, the tubing, and boom into the dark end. Well, screw it. We're already over here. We might as well take the ladder. <laughs> We're too lazy to walk. Okay. Here we go. Are we going to the bathrooms now? Oh, no. Another dark spot. these unlit rooms. I mean, even though I technically haven't faced anything yet, it's just the sheer it's existential dread that there might be something. Oh, what the hell, bro? Sometimes I think the pools tease us, like, oh, you want to see the life raptor? Let's go. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Oh, yeah, we're definitely gonna die. Ooh, it falls. Get in your corner, bro. I'll never know if I can ride it or not. Because I won't do that very often, so we'll just go to this dark corner right here. Okay, bagel. Apparently, you cannot, you cannot ride the bagel. <laughs> Bye, bagel. The water slide offers me more entertainment. The blue water slide at that. Let's go down the glory hall. Woo! Am I gonna end up? Mm. Well, alrighty then. I guess that was the end of chapter two. Let's see where we flop down at. Ew. Alright, well. We're gonna end this chapter right here. So far, uh, it was interesting. Like the first one, we saw like something of life or or something out there that was living. Second chapter, we dealt more with statues and not much else. So out of so yeah, there's a total of six chapters, and each one seems to have a different theme or reoccurring um, ambience to it. That being said, thank you for this journey. Stay
stay tuned. Chapter 3 will be on the way. Until next time, cheers.